Hey, everybody. This is Dina FM. You know what it is. I'm back with another TikTok compilation reaction. And this one is going to be two LGBTQ plus TikToks compilations. That's right. That's the name of the video. And it's okay. Okay. We're going to get started. And please make sure to check out my Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, official YouTube page. And all my stuff is in the description below. Subscribe. Please subscribe. With Max. Oh, Max. They just recently came out as non-binary and use they, them pronouns, right? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm trying to be supportive of the they, them pronouns thing. And what are your pronouns? Oh. <laughs> I'm normal. Yeah, people I freak out. Um, it's just... Okay. Uh, do you identify as a woman, as a man, as non-binary, as a gender? Um, a woman. So do you like people referring to you as she? Oh, okay. I get it now. So she, her. Perfect. So my friend Ash is having a yeah, baby. It shouldn't be that difficult, them, though. Them? Yeah. Ash, they, they're non-binary. Oh, oh, right. Okay. I don't know when the baby is due, but Ash said that the pregnancy has been a struggle and they have been kicking a lot. Ash is kicking? No. It's is Ash having twins? No, just one baby. Just one baby. But you said they, and you weren't referring to Ash. Yeah, people need to people to need to stop. Baby. Since this video is very short and it seems to be made by just one creator, I would like to say something important, and I would like to make a separate video about this in the future. That is not this video, but I think that gender, being gender queer, being non-binary is something that I support. I am a gender queer, effeminate male, gay male. I think that one thing that really needs to be taken into consideration is in terms of the they argument and people just freaking out about they. First of all, if you don't want to talk to somebody, don't talk to them. If you don't want to associate with somebody, don't associate with them. I don't quite understand. It's not that many people in the world who are doing this. It's not that inconvenient. It is not that hurtful. And also people's mental health needs to be taken into consideration. One thing that I think is very reasonable and a very important reason as to why I identify as I do is because I have a lot of mental issues, depression, anxiety, social anxiety, and ADHD you know, and a lot of insecurities that affect your mind's confidence in making huge decisions such as transitioning. And I think it's a very safe, actually. I don't know if anybody else can relate to this, but for me, why I am genderqueer is because it's a safe place to be when you're not sure. And I would definitely encourage other people to do that. Even if that means you want to identify as non-binary and with they, people need to respect you. People don't know what we go through at all. Unless you walk, <laughs> unless you go to walk a day in my platform heels. I don't got no platform heels. You got to walk a day in my stilettos. Oh God, I got those. Either a day in our cute shoe. I don't think that they know. But again, I want to make another video about this explaining more so my story and all that type of thing. So when I said okay, they were kicking. So when do they, the baby, become a he or a she? I don't know, Stacey. What if they don't? So I'm guessing no gender reveal party then? No. Yeah, at the end of the day, as all non-binary and genderqueer and gay, transgender people, we just need to respect each other and respect that we are all in this together, sharing like a universal consciousness <laughs> to get a little deeper. You know, we are all just doing our thing. And yeah, this is a very short video, but yeah, love yourself first. I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>